The suspected driver behind this deadly DUI crash in inland Horry County is walking free tonight for now. Our Ashley Listrom joins us live in Longs to break down the latest development in this case and also share why it's outraging some of the victim's loved ones. Tell us more, Ashley. Eric records show 46 year old Mikkel Coleman posted bond Sunday. That's just less than a full day after troopers claim he drunkenly killed a man and hurt a handful of others right here along Highway 9. He took a life. They shouldn't have gave him no bond. Loved ones of that crash victim tell me they feel disgusted that Coleman can wait out his trial from home, having paid five figures over the weekend for his freedom. I ain't gonna never get over this one right here. I can't. The way he, you know, he left us wasn't right. They say 68-year-old Gary Rogers' life was worth far more than $25,000. And his significant other is now left to remember him as a caring Navy veteran, a grandfather, and a generous soul. Gary was a kind man. He, if anybody asked him for anything, even if he had to take the clothes off his back, he gave them to him. He ain't gonna never find another man like him. A neighbor has since shared these chilling drone photos of the crash's aftermath with me, telling me he and his family had been home when it happened. He says his relatives immediately noticed that some of those hurt were children, and they sprung in to help to calm them down amid the chaos. The kids were screaming, so my wife went to the house and got some um, uh, popsicles and brought to them and tried to keep them comforted and out of the way, but uh, it was a mess. While that neighbor says he's sad Rogers lost his life in the crash, he admits he's thankful the seven others hurt did end up surviving. I wasn't expecting many people to be breathing after that one, but thank God they were. Coleman is charged with felony DUI resulting in death, but we are still working to learn exactly when he'll be due back in the courtroom. Reporting in Long's Ashley Listrum, WMBF News.